Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Look, if you're struggling to get an American Express card, okay, and you have bad credit, I'm gonna show you a secret hack that a lot of people are not even aware of. Because here's the thing about it with American Express. People think that you have to have perfect credit to get an American Express card, and that's not true. That's totally false. Now, one of the things about it with American Express, like I tell people, is that American Express, they are very keen on income. But there's also one other thing that can almost guarantee that you will be approved even if you have bad credit with American Express. And we're going to talk about it. Now, understanding, choosing the right credit card when you first become part of American Express, choosing the right credit card is really important, all right? Now, my thing is, I always try to look for the free money, whether it's with American Express, Bank of America, I wanna see who's gonna give me some free money for the longest period of time. Now, with American Express, they have this Blue Cash Everyday card, all right? Now, this here card here, as you can see here, it's 0% APR on balance transfers and purchases for 15 months. That's free money, all right? Now, a lot of people, they end up with a low-limit American Express card. And there's a reason for that, and I'm going to t tell you uh, why that is in a minute. Now, here's the thing about it. Most people, when they join American Express, they're going after the platinum and the gold, right? Or they would like to get access to the platinum and the gold. Well, here's a real key to understand how to get access to the platinum and the gold with a bad credit score. Long as you have a credit score averaging about a 660, then that's the minimum credit score that you can qualify for this American Express Platinum and the gold. Now, here's the reason why, all right? Here's some very key things that you need to understand about this. With American Express, they're kind of like Credit union is all about the relationship, right? So when people say, oh, you got to have good credit, perfect credit to get these cards, that's not true. But there's a, a few key elements you do have to have. One, like I told you, is income, all right? Your income is very important. Like when you put in that application, I always tell people to call in and put the application in, all right? And so what they're going to ask you how much income you have. So, and they'll tell you, just like on the application, it's better to call over the phone. And they'll tell you in terms of income, your income, your spouse's income. Do you have income from a 401k or do you have a 401k? Uh, do you have child support and alimony? Okay. So when you have those type of factors, that's they calculate your child support, alimony, any other income you may have besides your job income into that. So that helps your DTI, your debt to income ratio goes down, right? Now, check this out. Another thing I always tell people when you're applying for the American Express card, you definitely want your rent or your mortgage, your rent or your mortgage payment. Usually they're looking at maybe about 15, maximum 25% of your income. All right. That's very important because once you go above that 25 percent with American Express, they're looking at you as a higher risk. Not saying that they will deny you, but when you have bad credit, this is something that's very important. Now, another thing that's very important when you're trying to get the American Express and you don't have a perfect credit score is that they usually will be flexible enough if you have one maximum two collections. OK. If you just coming out of a, a bankruptcy, a bankruptcy 13 or chapter 11 restructuring, they will work with you, okay? They will work with you. Now, there's some other key elements, but understanding what would be your easiest cards, even with bad credit, you probably want to go for this gold, and it's a charge card. That's the thing about it. Most people don't understand, like with their charge cards, they categorize this totally different than with their revolving cards, all right? Now, understanding, like I told you, with the revolving cards, the best cards that they have that I would tell you to go with is the Blue Cash Everyday 
with an American Express cash magnet. Now, here's something that you need to know. With American Express, usually they will allow you up to four revolving cards, okay? Then you can have multiple um, charge cards, but the revolving cards is what they usually hold fast to, to meaning that they won't let you have a bunch of those. But in terms of the charge cards, they're okay with having multiples of those, all right? So you can go over four, basically, with the charge cards, all right? One of the easier cards when you're trying to uh, join with American Express, one of the easier cards to go for is this Delta Sky Miles. This is one of the easiest cards because I've seen people with a 640 get this here card, okay? So it is possible to even with a 640, I've seen people get this here card, all right? Now, here's another thing you have to understand. If you want to build a stronger relationship, all right, they offer the pre-qualifier. So when you put your name, address, and stuff like that, last for your social, your annual income, like I was saying, when you put that in, it would actually tell you which one of these credit cards you may qualify for. They may even tell you multiple credit cards. Now, one of the things I do like about American Express, once you have one of their cards, then everything done is internally, right? So that means that they'll just do the hard pull. Usually, they're going to pull your Experian. Uh, sometimes they may pull your TransUnion, depending on the file. Okay, and then depending on the region. But once they do that one hard pull, whenever you apply for other uh, American Express cards, even on the business side, it's not going to be a hard pull. All right. So that's the reason I always tell people, make sure you go for a personal credit card with American Express first and then go for um, your business credit card. Now, here's the interesting thing I'm going to tell you. What many people have been doing, assuming that this was going to get them a, a higher limit increase, what they would do, they would take their, usually their gold card or platinum card, and they would max it out. So they would max it out and pay it down, max it out and pay it down. Well, what ends up happening, when you do that two or three times in a row, what ends up doing, it triggers a financial review. That's right. So whatever income you put on that application, now they want to see your taxes. Now they want to sh they want you to show them, OK, you said that you made this much. Now we need to see your taxes and they will not unfreeze your card until you actually show them that those taxes. That's the reason I tell people do not play that game when you have these charge cards with American Express. It really does trigger a financial um, review. And most people don't want to go through the hassle of with their um, uh, financial review or showing their taxes and bank statements. Now, I would tell you one key thing that I, I know for sure. One of the best things you can do with American Express, if you get an American Express and you're expecting to get a higher limit, there's actually two things. One is make sure you connect your bank account to American Express. All of your bank accounts, you want to connect those to American Express. The reason is, one, it's going to avoid that financial review. Number two, it's going to make it much easier for them to approve you for higher limits. Now, here's another mistake that many people make when going after American Express is that once they get an American Express card, okay, after 90 days, after three month billing cycle, They'll try to, if they get 5000 then what they'll try to do, they'll try to go for twenty five, thirty thousand, 30000 right? However, again, the challenge with that, usually with American Express, whatever limit they give you, you have to times that times three. And that's the a maximum amount they're usually willing to give you. And again, it depends on how many bank accounts you have tied, how much income you have, because they're going to do a... a E income re-evaluation when you ask them for a credit limit increase, even though it's not a hard pull, all right? So here's some other things to help you when you have bad credit and you're trying to get an American Express card uh, just to build a stronger relationship with American Express. 
then I would consider opening up a personal checking account and I would consider opening up a, uh, this is their checking account. I would consider opening up a savings account. All right. Now, why the savings account? Well, the thing about it, if you open up a savings account as well as now, here's another key secret to this. I want to show you guys. You see this about the CD? If you buy a CD with them, showing long-term longevity uh, with them, this here will make it so much easier, even if you have bad credit for them, to approve you for a credit card. This is one of the key ingredients that they look at. Uh, like I said, you can apply for their credit cards without a bank account, a savings account, or a CD. But when you have bad credit and you want to build a relationship with them, I would open up the checking account, savings account, and a CD. Now, there's one other thing you can do as well, and that's add on an authorized, add yourself on as an authorized user on somebody else's card that has strong history. Now, we do offer that service. So if you have bad credit and you're trying to build a relationship with American Express, that's a very good backdoor way to actually building that relationship with them. Now, here's another thing that I like about American Express is that they offer personal loans with no credit check. So once, you, once you're with American Express for at least a year, okay, they would offer you a loan. And so as you can see here, the loans go from $3,500 up to $40,000. But that's no hard inquiry on your personal credit, okay? That's the thing about it that I like. Now, for those of you, again, in terms of understanding the credit score, if you have about a 660 or higher, you have a higher chance. And like I said, maximum two collections. Uh, talking about inquiries. Now, with inquiries, I would say, Please, with your experience, especially with your experience, more likely you want to have at least around four inquiries, not six, but four. OK, if you're going to go for the American Express. All right. Now, if you have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, removing negative items off of the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule a one on one consultation. Thank you.